A Chinese company called WorkerKit randomly emailed me asking me to do a review of their armor in exchange for a free plate carrier and plate set. Normally for reasons of taste, I'd refuse to do a review of Chinese plates like this as they're the ubiquitous strike face Chinese plates that are mass produced and sold under many brand names. Still, the silicon carbide and polyethylene back plates, if you didn't know, are legitimately level 4 and good to go. These plates are average price and have been reviewed to death under many other channels. So that solves that. The real question is how the cheap plate carrier would do. Again, my time is scarce and normally I wouldn't review either the plates or the cheap Chinese mass produced plate carrier. However, I got super drunk with a buddy of mine and uh, he's like five years old and just became a police officer at a particularly methed out locality in the deep south. This police department, as with many others around the country, has absolutely no money, and so officers are still issued out soft level 3A Kevlar armor. And after hearing about his 22nd domestic violence call and third meth lab discovery, I didn't want my can't even remember 9-11 cop friend getting taken out by a drake. So I checked back on the email and agreed to make a video for worker kit, giving the vest to young Dixie cop over here. He's used the armor heavily for around half a year now in his patrol car with no complaints about it. Worker Kit's vest hasn't fallen apart, it functions as it appears. A cheap, low profile plate carrier with quick release features and level 4 plates. What do you think of the plate carrier so far? I love it, actually. Um, I mean, it's fucking great. Yeah? Like I was saying, actually I can show you now, the only complaint I have with it is right here. They have these little holes for handgun magazines but that shit is just so like i mean sitting down it's not as bad but let's say i was getting up and i'm out actually using it yeah i need some light or something such yeah. you got a light andrew yeah, light. yeah just get the light on behind me oh, shoot i mean that works but yeah so i mean it has these pouches for handgun magazines yeah and they work but they're not that er ergonomic. ergonomic 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 the ergonomics are not there so, so yeah. that's what these are for, okay. Yeah. So that's the only problem I've seen with this vest thus far. Um, but other than that, anytime I've had to use it, I usually keep it right up here, but I have to enable something in my patrol vehicle to make it work now. Gotcha. But, I mean, the quick release straps work like a charm. Um, I have no problem there with them. And it makes actually applying the vest extremely easy in any situation. Like that. Like here. Like that. And then best has no problem going, coming on or off. Um, yeah. I still have access to everything on my duty belt, knowing where it is. Your um, flip a 180 real quick. Yeah. Yeah. Still have access to everything on my duty belt. Able to use my radio. Um, doesn't limit my access to anything really. I can yeah. still access everything underneath my vest as well that I need to get access to. Pins, all right here. Pins, handcuff keys. So anything I need actually wearing this vest, I'm able to get access to. Sweet. So it um it works. I enjoy it. <laughs> Fortunately for him, though unfortunately for the review, our boy has yet to get plate checked. But now if that happens, he'll be ready. And God forbid if it happens and he survives, I'll make a part two of this video.